previously on A Better Life Underground. Susan, I'm glad you could join us today. We really have to discuss Jerry's recent, uh, incident. My little Jerry is a saint. You and I both know that what happened was not his fault. Of course, Susan. No one is trying to place blame here. However, three missing hamsters, a broken chalkboard, and seven named children demands at least a discussion of accountability. Your little classroom calamity is not my problem. My problem is my child's brain is now inside a damn robot. How is he supposed to play catch with the other kids with these ridiculous claws? Mother, you are embarrassing me. And now, episode 618 of A Better Life Underground. So, let me get this straight, Howard. You think there's a ghost in the nuclear reactor room? There is a ghost, Paul. We've all heard the clattering and howling late at night. It's probably Edward Jenkins. Come back to haunt us. Really, Victoria? Ed Jenkins? The guy we exiled from the vault last year? He must have died out there, and now he wants his revenge. Well, we'll have to chase him off soon. The constant howling has been disrupting my beauty rest. What does Vault Tech Security mean to do about it? Oh, as much as I hate being near the reactor, I suppose I can take a look. If there's any flim-flam going on, you can rest assured I'll handle it. With some hesitance, the trio of would-be ghost hunters make their way to the vault's nuclear reactor, a place you'd normally want to avoid, even if there wasn't a potential specter roaming the area. The air here is so... sticky. I feel like I'm breathing in pure death. It's the spirit of Edward Jenkins! He's inhabiting this whole section of the vault. I can feel it! He's likely to take his vengeance upon us at any moment just for coming into his territory. Just hold on now, you two. That's just the radiation from the reactor. It's perfectly harmless. I think you've been getting worked up over a big nothing. Just then, a ghostly apparition streaks across a dark section of the room, startling even the hardened vault tech security officer. Perhaps the vault is haunted by its past demons after all. Did you see what I saw? What was that? Paul, I'm scared. Get back, Victoria. Whatever it is, vault tech security training has prepared me to not be afraid of anything, even apparitions. It seems to be coming from over there, behind that large console. Time to investigate. Get to the bottom of this. Nervously, Paul approaches the console. Suddenly, out of the darkness, a terrifying figure emerges and lunges toward Howard. Yeah, it's got me! I'm a goner for sure! Save yourselves! It's covering me in some sort of ghoulish goo! What in the world is that peculiar aroma? I know that smell. Is that pork and beans? Oh, that's no ghost. That's just a filthy food-covered man! Jenkins, is that you? Well, I guess I wasn't going to be able to hide forever. You're not dead? How did you get back in here? I watched you get exiled! You'd be surprised what a man can accomplish with a high enough will to survive. There's barely any protections on the reactor vent tubes. I suppose because they didn't think anyone would be stupid enough to subject themselves to such intense radiation. Joke's on them, though. I'm exactly that amount of stupid. Oh, and why are you covered in beans? I sneak into the kitchen every night for some grub. But tonight, the damn air duct broke, landing my keister straight into the big pot for tomorrow's lunch. So you are the reason I've been so rudely awoken for so many months. All that awful moaning. No, you try crawling through these tiny vault vents every day with level 3 radiation sickness and see if you don't cry out in pain. Well, since you seem to love radiation so much, I think we can probably find a way to keep you around. See, these reactor cores need a good scrubbing. He'll never survive that, and then he'll haunt us for sure. Paul, would you do that to your own long-lost brother? My what? Next 
time on A Better Life Underground. Hey, Heather. Uh, is that a copy of Bubble Bomber you're playing? Huh? What? Oh, <laughs> hi, Jesse. I just started playing it. Bubble Bomber is great. You should try it. Uh, I don't know. I heard a rumor about it secretly mind-controlling people through its sheer addictiveness. That's preposterous, Jesse. Bubble Bomber is good. Bubble Bomber is life. Where is your Bubble Bomber? It's time for you to play Bubble Bomber. What? What's happening? Get your hands off me! Yes, Jesse. Come sit down and see what Bubble Bomber is all about. We must all bomb the bubbles.